Log into True Command and on the top left, locate the clusters icon. We'll start the cluster creation process by clicking Create Cluster below. The first thing we'll need to do is give our new cluster a name. Next, we'll need to select the systems that will be members in the cluster. Select the systems you wish to be members of the cluster by clicking the checkboxes to the left of the host's name. Below, we'll need to select the network interface on each member that will be used for cluster traffic. Best practice is to use a dedicated network for cluster traffic, so we'll be selecting our dedicated cluster network's IPs for each host. Once we've chosen each system's cluster network, we'll click Next above. Please note, the creation of a cluster will disable your ability to access any existing SMB shares you've created on the members you're adding to the cluster. Also, moving forward, you'll be unable to add local SMB shares directly to these systems while they're members of the cluster. Click Create to begin building the cluster. Cluster creation can take a bit of time to complete, so be patient. After the initial cluster creation is completed, we'll need to configure the cluster. First step in the configuration of our newly created cluster is to select the network interfaces on each system that will serve our distributed SMB shares. Choose the primary interface that serves client connections for each of the hosts. Once you've chosen the correct interface for each node in the cluster, click Next at the top. Our next step is to configure Active Directory for user authentication of the SMB shares we'll be creating later. Enter the domain name of your Active Directory environment in the Domain Name field, followed by your administrator user and password for your Active Directory domain. Once completed, click Next at the top. On the confirmation page, we can verify the network interface we've configured, as well as the Active Directory domain and the administrator user and password. If everything looks good, click Confirm on the top right. The process can take a bit to complete, so be patient. Now that our cluster is built and configured, it's time to create our first volume. We'll start that process by clicking Create Volume on our cluster card. Our first step is to give our new volume a name. We'll use dist01. Next, you can select what type of volume you wish to create. There are four different volumes to choose from, each with their own features and use cases. For this volume, we'll be leaving ours set to distributed. Next stop is to define our brick size. The brick size is the amount of data you'll be allocating on each node in the cluster. We'll enter 10 gigabytes, which across our four nodes will create a 40 gigabyte volume in total. Next, you'll need to select the pool you'll want to provision the brick into on each system. We have a single pool named Tank on each of our hosts, so we'll leave the configuration as is and click Next above. Last stop is the confirmation screen. Everything looks good, so we'll click Create to create the new volume. Volume creation can take a bit, so give it time to complete. We now see our new volume has been added to our cluster card. At a glance, we can see the space utilization and the green check on the right shows the volume is healthy. Clicking on the volume name will provide detailed information about the volume utilization, sub-volume information, and health. Next step is to create our first share. Below on the right, click Create Share. First, we need to give our new share a name. We'll name our share dist01 share. Next, we'll need to select the permissions for the share. We'll leave our share set to POSIX open and click Confirm. Once the process completes, the newly created share is available for access. Let's take a look at how we can access our newly created share. To access your newly provisioned SMB share, open the Windows Explorer window and in the address bar at the top, type backslash backslash, followed by one of the host names of the scale systems you configured in the cluster. Any of the systems you've added to the cluster can be used. Once you've entered in the path to one of your clustered hosts, press enter. If you're asked to provide number credentials to authenticate, you'll need to provide credentials for the Active Directory domain you configured during the initial cluster configuration. Once you've entered them in, click OK to continue. Congratulations, we now see our newly created share listed. You can enter into that share and begin using it immediately. Thanks for watching.